Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are here at Walmart. Uh, Olivia needs a couple accessories for her Halloween costume. Olivia, what are you going to be for Halloween? Unicorn dog. A unicorn dog. Now, we personally, we don't celebrate Halloween. We're just allowing her to get dressed up for school. We usually do like safe alternatives, whether it's with our church or another church or at Chuck E. Cheese. We do some sort of like chunk or treat or something like that. So that's more or less what we do. Um, but this is for school, her costume for school. Uh, we already have a unicorn outfit. We just need some puppy accessories. Yep. So um, I think we're going to get puppy ears and maybe like a mask with a puppy mouth on it. If they don't have it, we'll make one. Um, but just so that it kind of brings what she's envisioning to life, I guess. So we're going to take you guys along with us into the store. We'll see you there. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. The wonderful Wizard of Oz. Yeah. All right, let's see what we can find. And we can't find anybody that has to do something else. Whoa, whoa. That's scary. See anything? Well, your your um, outfit already has, I think, a unicorn, doesn't it? Slim pickings, not very much. Let's keep looking. Let's see what we can find. Okay. We just came back from the store, so we got some stuff. So we're gonna trim some of the fur off of this, but this isn't like supposed to be a cat, but I'm gonna wear this to my Halloween thing. Okay. That's but, cool. Yeah. So we found one item. So they said that they were kind of short on Halloween costumes and supplies because um, I, I think most of you guys know that at the ports right now, some of our stuff is kind of just floating in the water. We don't have um, people that are unloading the, the containers. So they were a little bit limited, but can I see that? Her, um, her little thing, the jig okay. here. Um, it's more of a cat, but we're going to fold down the ears and we're going to make it more of like a puppy. And then it has gloves with paws on it. So we're going to yeah. do that. And then we'll probably do a mask with like a puppy mouth on it <laughs> yeah. just to pull everything together, but we'll make it work. Ooh. Um, she was excited because she has glitter in the ears and she likes glitter. Um, did you just pick your nose? No, I did that. Okay, so we found something that she thinks she likes, and we'll see how we pull it together. Bye. Hey guys, I thought I'd um, chit chat with you guys while I'm finishing up my makeup. I wanted to do like an updated chatty get ready with me, like my five minute face, because when I first did my five minute face with you guys, um, I was really nervous, and I stretched that sucker out. So I need to redo that setting my makeup real quick. I'm using pharmacy time locker and I went in with our bronzing drops just for a little highlight, but like a natural, natural highlight situation. So you guys, Olivia looked super cute today. She went to school. She's so creative. So, um, maybe two years back, she wanted to be a unicorn kitty, which last minute I was able to kind of pull it together. Um, with costumes, I'm kind of new to costumes. I never dressed up as a kid, so I'm not like the greatest when it comes to costumes. <laughs> Just noticed my drawer is slightly open. Hold on. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm new to costumes. I'm not like the greatest when it comes to them. So I was able to kind of wing it, but in her eyes, she was a unicorn kitty. Then last year she wanted to be Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. And then this year she wanted to be a unicorn puppy. Um, so we were able to pull it together she in her mind was a unicorn puppy. I will insert a little clip of her here. Magical puppy, say hi. Are you excited for school? You're gonna go and do parade? <laughs> you look very cute. I love you. But just seeing her light, light all lit up means everything to me. Um, so yeah, she was super, super cute. Other than that, I also wanted to chat with you guys. Sorry, I put on a little bit of bronzing oil for um, highlight, but I wanted to top it off. Just find my highlighter that I'm gonna go in with. I guess I'll use this one. Um, so I, I went back to reading 
which is a huge accomplishment for me because I never made time to read. I used to be a huge reader as a child, a teenager, and then when I became a mom, I kind of stopped focusing on what I wanted and focused 100% on my kids. And then I'm like, why don't I make time for myself to read? So I tend to try to read a new book around fall um, while I was working, but now that I'm not working, it's fall. I'm in my book mode, but I just, I genuinely just want to read throughout the year. So I'm currently reading Mark Edwards, um, In Her Shadow. I'll pop a picture in it, but just because right now my Kindle's dead and I'm reading it off my phone. So I'm going to pop a picture in. Um, it's a really good book. I'm trying to find like my, um, style of reading that I prefer, my favorite authors. I'm like on a hunt right now just because it's been so long since I've really, just dove into books. So um, right now, I really like Mark Ed Edwards. His writing is pretty, um, like it's an easy read. He captures my attention and um, keeps me wanting to like flip to the next page. And that's all that I can ask for when it comes to books. So I'm liking that. Just gonna go in with some lip conditioner. Uh, I read one of his books maybe two years ago. Has it been two years? Oh my God, it's been two years. Um, it's called The Retreat. It was pretty good, but I, I like Mark Edwards. And then let me grab the other book that I'm really excited about. So the vlog before this one, you guys saw that we went to Athens Burger and we were killing some time and letting my, my daughter Phil groan and do her thing at the movie theaters. Well, while she was at the movie theaters, there was a bookstore nearby. Now I will say, I love going into bookstores, but since this pandemic hit, I have not been into a bookstore in two two years or more. And I find having my phone with me or my Kindle or something like that, it's just out of convenience. I would usually download a book. So it's been a long time since I've read like a physical book. Went to Barnes and Nobles. Oh, I literally can spend all day in Barnes and Noble and feel satisfied with life. I love going in there and just flipping through books. Um, and just, I don't know, there's, there's just something about being in a bookstore that just makes my heart so happy. So after I'm done with, um, my current book in her shadow, let me, I feel like I'm all over the place in her shadow. It's really good. Um, it's about a little girl. What's really funny about it too is the main character, her name is Jessica, she's a mom, and the little girl that the story is kind of following, her name's Olivia. <laughs> so it's really funny because I'm Jessica and my daughter's Olivia. Um, but Olivia in the story seems to have some sort of deep connection with her aunt that passed away. And she never really got to know her aunt because I believe she passed while she was like a tiny baby. And the detail of certain things that she knows, it's um, unreal to the family because no one really brings up the aunt, the Aunt Isabel, um, in front of her. Or they try to keep it to a limit, but some of the details that she knows, it's like she would only know that if she spoke with Isabel. So the story is trying to figure out how does she have so much detail on someone that's passed. And um, it's just kind of a mystery type of story. So I'm really into it. Um, right now, my genre, definitely, I do enjoy a good mystery. I've read a couple different different styles of books, um, but mystery is just mystery and thrillers, I guess, is just like right up my alley. That's what I prefer. So <clears throat> back to current. Um, after I read In Her Shadow completely, I don't want to start another book without completing it just because that's me. Some people can read multiple multiple books at a time and they're fine. I'm not. I, I want to dive and focus only on one book at a time. So I got <clears throat> Then She Was Gone by Elisa Jewell. Um, I'm really excited about this one because it sounded extremely interesting. It's about a, a woman who um, sh her daughter was just gone, disappeared. And then years later, she um, is introduced to this gentleman. They hit it off. They start talking and she gets introduced to his daughter and she looks identical to her daughter. So I'm just like, that caught my attention right away just because I'm a parent and I could not imagine. Um, so I'm really excited for reading and I wanted to share that. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and Olivia. Olivia's having a blast. Originally when I started YouTube, I wanted to let her have her own channel. Now after this pandemic and just things that I hear in general, 
regarding kids. I don't know if I want her to have her own channel, so you may just be seeing a little bit more of her here on my channel, um, just so I can kind of monitor how much she is online, if that makes sense, or on featured on YouTube. So um, you, you'll probably be seeing a little bit more of her. Say hi. Hi. Shopping with Grandma. I just came from school with my little costume. Mom, they are in the bed. Because my mom's backpack isn't there. My and mom. she got hot, so she took off her costume portion. She just kept her ears on and her mask. We're currently at Costco because she loves their pizza here. So she's going to have my a lucky day because this is my lucky day. And we're doing a little grocery shopping with my mom. And so we might have an assembly. And so we, went, we had a Halloween assembly because... Uh, it was Halloween at my school. Was it good? Woo! Okay. My mom's Okay, right, we'll see you guys when we're having our slice of pizza. Bye. How's that pizza there without your cheese and pepperoni? Delicious? One of her favorite pizzas. Always picking off the cheese and pepperoni when I get a hot dog. Hey guys, so sorry for the poor lighting. We are on our way out. We're going to a trunk or treat at a friend's church. Um, and we are so excited. We can't wait to hang out. I'll try to get a couple of clips. <laughs> Olivia is her unicorn puppy from school, which you guys have already seen in a previous clip. Yeah, and but uh, these are different claws. Yeah, she changed claws. her paws because yeah. she couldn't find the blue ones. Yeah. But we're I only on... found one. She only found one. Okay, so we'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. So how we're doing it tonight is a key. So if you get a key, it has a button. Oh, careful with that swing. There we go. Good job. And yeah, if you if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and we will see you in our next one. Bye guys. We're gonna insert that voice clip right into the video. Uh uh, don't you dare have me a big head again. Don't you dare have me big head. You don't want me to put your head big? Okay, I'll put mom's head big right here. Yeah. Big head. <laughs>